It was a dream come true for one aspiring filmmaker who was handpicked from hundreds of hopefuls to direct his very own screenplay starring Hollywood legend Kevin Spacey. Our red carpet was reminiscent of Hollywood itself at the premiere at Turbine Hall. It was the opportunity of a lifetime. South African filmmakers getting a chance to get Hollywood recognition. And for one lucky director, he got just that. Cape Tonian Alan Shelley premieres his long-awaited film starring Hollywood legend Kevin Spacey. Mrs. Farr is back, Dr. Midling. Something about pus. Thank you, Miss Patmore. The short film competition was designed to discover up-and-coming film talent from South Africa, Russia, and the U.S., pulled together by Kevin Spacey's production house, Trigger Street Productions. Cape Tonian Alan Shelley was the lucky South African winner, among 700 entrants from the three countries. Fifteen years of dentistry. It's just so hot right now. Really is exciting times for our industry. We need collaborations yeah. like these to happen to get this talent, you know, exposed globally. It's really great that South Africans are getting these kind of grand opportunities. We have young directors that are still in school, that are still coming up. And for them to see projects like this, they really get motivated to work harder. To have great stars like this coming to South Africa, working with South Africans, it's about time. We hope to see more of this kind of thing happening. What an amazing opportunity for a young filmmaker, director. You can hit Hollywood and Broadway at the same time faster than that. This young guy from Cape Town, first short film and he gets to direct Kevin Spacey. How good is that? What do you think this is going to do for Alan Shelley's career? I mean, being 26 and directing someone like Kevin Spacey. How does a mouse finish eating an elephant <laughs> one mouthful at a time? Go big, boy. Go big and make us proud. Make me a lead actress. Yeah. I think working with someone like Kevin Spacey must be a life-changing experience for the better. What influenced your decision to get South Africa as one of the three countries? There is a, a lot going on here. Not just films that are coming here and shooting, but uh, emerging filmmakers starting to sort of make their mark. It's just incredibly exciting to be a part of something where you give somebody uh, an opportunity they might not have otherwise had. It's happened to me in my life and I don't want to ever get too far away from uh, that connection to what it's like to start out and, and be ambitious. What was it about Alan's script that uh, drew you in initially? Well, he was quite clever and actually I found out it wasn't that he was so clever, it's that he misread the instructions. Uh, but there was, a, there was a, a, a sort of idea that you had to create a story that was either a tall tale or humorous or a fable. Mm -hmm. He decided to combine them all. Fuck the mid -ling. It's a story about an uptight dentist who gets a visit from a pirate who's a bit of a bull in a china shop and it kind of goes against his sensibilities as a, as a very sort of perfectionist. What was it like going overseas to Hollywood and uh, rubbing shoulders with uh, the who's who? The crew that I had over there was was so helpful and, and, I, and I felt really at home. I never once felt like I was some amateur rocking up from, you know, Africa. What do you think it's like working with Kevin Spacey? You probably wet his pants. <laughs> I mean, like, can you imagine directing Kevin sure. Spacey? I, I, I would imagine that he's probably great to work with and, yeah. and, and easy to direct because, because he's such a wonderful actor. I know Kevin very well. We've got a common thing. We've worked together with Arthur Fugard. I love Kevin Spacey. I think he's one of the most brilliant chaps you know, in, the, in the film industry. And I'm actually very happy that he came to find me. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of the great actors, I must say. Mm. He won't be fighting for his attention, though. I'm sure he gets that a lot. <laughs> Who would you still like to work with? Kevin Spacey. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're the man of the hour. Um, what's, what's it like knowing all these people are here for you, including your, your, your new buddy, Kevin Spacey? <laughs> it's surreal. I, I, I can't... I, I don't know, I can't get used to it. And directing Kevin, was he uh, directable? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, he was great. He was very open to, to, to my direction and, mm -hmm. and uh, um, he was very easy to work with. So if you told him to hit his mark and he didn't hit his mark? We just do take two. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Crow, one of your molars has become infected and it's, it's now spread to your gums. It has to come out. It won't take more than a moment. Hi. Whatever it takes. Mr. Each of the films are quite unique in terms of their style and their tone. 
Uh, and his was very, very funny. And what was he like? He was great. Good. Um, I think he was nervous on the first day, but I'm always nervous on the first day. <laughs> it's actually, though, the shortest premiere I've ever been to. <laughs> it's going to be over like that. <laughs> The quality of the film was very international. Um, I love the fantasy world, so the pirate thing really worked for me. I think the film is great. I really enjoyed it. I think it's very tight, very funny. My favorite part of the film was when the pirate passes out. When he, he and the pirates are having their fights. I love that. Can you do a pirate accent? Yeah. Arr, this chair be high, says I. It turns out your whole mouth was a mess. It took a while, but... You'll never have to visit a dentist the rest of your life. I feel very relieved. People laughed in the right places. And overall, you were happy with Kevin's performance, yes? <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. Bob, how do you feel about needles? You know, stepping out tonight was like taking a sneak peek into real life Hollywood. One can only hope that more South African filmmakers will have an opportunity as incredible as this. And we said it before, we're gonna say it again and again. Watch out, world. Sons has got talent. Proudly brought to you by Hennessy Cognac.